that's my ventilation hole for the uh, air circulation here and uh, the kind of a top hat well the kind of a cap that is inside of that is broken so I've sealed it outside with just a plastic bag so that the rain doesn't pour in but I've decided to make it a little bit more powerful like an active uh, air not air condition but air circulation ventilation yeah because I have this kind of fan which is a uh, 24 volt I bought this I got a couple of these extras last year because I did the um, the cooling system for the controller for the motor and the motor itself so I bought a few extras of these and I have this light around and also I'm gonna make a switch for it also I'm gonna replace the beautiful anchor light switch over there with this one and this is gonna be the fan switch yeah first I'm gonna tear open this and see if I can fix the kind of a cap that is under here I'm not sure what has happened here but I think because this is all deformed it should be over here and if there's some rain the rain should go there and then pour from the sides not the inside but I think this is do the testing of the heater that I did during the winter because I had the flu coming to here that's why it's black over here and the heat might have done the damage here broke this like that so there's no repairing this okay so what I did I took everything out and I found uh, another one of those domes ventilation domes from the internet it's like the uh, Craigslist in Finland well it's like kind of an online place where people sell you know second-hand stuff but that was a new one I think the owner had bought it and not used it because it, it should be in a box and it's the same size of the hole and uh, a little bit uh, wider than this but the dimensions it's shallower so it's not that high so I think it's gonna be fine and it seems like it's stainless steel in the picture and I got it like in half price my girlfriend is picking it up because it's still the other side of Helsinki now I'm gonna modify this fan I think I have to cut some of the edges off so I can fit it over there and yeah it's pretty good it's only using like 0.1 amp so like nothing so I think I can keep it on all the time here just to make the ventilation better because there's a kind of a old boat smell don't know if it comes from a fungus or something like that but I think that's gonna help that and also if there's gonna be a days this summer that it's gonna be too hot inside then I can use it but so far I don't have to worry about the getting too hot inside of here so 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 now I got the new ventilation thing over here oh I need to get the uh, it. first I'm gonna put this in place 
like that. So I'm gonna fill this with some I hope it's okay, it looks kind of funny. It's been on my boat during the winter, so let's hope it works. Let's put it in place. Oh, that's a better one. In. Let's put this on. Should I screw it on or glue it on? Screws makes make holes. Holes make leaks well screw it I'm gonna screw it <laughs> please okay. don't please don't there. I hope it works. It should be uh, tight enough so that I can wash it over and it doesn't drop any water inside. That's what it said in the ad. Never know. Let's go inside and make the fan blow some air out of it. Now I modified the the fan so that it fits in here so I had to cut some corners this other side of these corners out and yeah <laughs> I made the switches over there inside I'm gonna attach these wires to there and then it should work main power on okay now let's turn on the... Oh yeah! Yeah, it's uh, bolting a little bit over here. Because there's too many wires. I think I have to cut this also. Oh yeah, oh yeah, put the main power switch on, yep, the lights work. <laughs> and anchor light, I hope it works, Ooh, you have to go and see. I was thinking about doing the, um, the USB plugs also, the new ones, but it's like almost 11 p.m. So, yeah, better get to home and eat something I haven't eaten anything like in 12 hours. So, put your thumbs up, subscribe, and <laughs> we're gonna probably see you in the next video. So. Until then, bye-bye.